Welcome to this video tutorial from Core Technologies Consulting. In this tutorial, we will be covering how to run Microsoft SkyDrive 24-7 as a Windows service with Always Up. You can then ensure that SkyDrive starts to synchronize your important files as soon as your PC boots up without needing to log on. Before we begin, please make sure to have downloaded both Always Up and SkyDrive if you have not done so already. Let's begin by starting Always Up. Select Application, then Add to open the Add Application window. On the General tab, in the Application field, enter the full path to the SkyDrive executable, skydrive.exe. If you installed SkyDrive in the default location, it would be c colon backslash users backslash username, which would be the name of the Windows account where you installed SkyDrive, backslash app data backslash local backslash Microsoft backslash SkyDrive and backslash skydrive.exe. In the Arguments field, enter forward slash background to signal that we want SkyDrive to run unattended in the background. Without this, SkyDrive may open your folder in Explorer when it starts. In the Name field, enter the name you will call the application in Always Up. We have typed in SkyDrive, but you can specify virtually anything you like. Click over to the Log On tab and enter the username and password of the Windows account in which you installed and configured SkyDrive. SkyDrive must run in this account so that it can find its settings. Click over to the Startup tab and check the Ensure that the Windows Networking Components have started box. This informs Always Up that SkyDrive needs TCP slash IP networking support to do its work. Click the Save button. In a couple of seconds, an application called SkyDrive will show up in the Always Up window. It is not running yet, however. Before we start SkyDrive as a Windows service, we must stop any existing instance. If SkyDrive is running, stop it now by right-clicking on the tray icon and choosing Exit. To start SkyDrive from Always Up, choose Application, Start, SkyDrive. Note that you won't see SkyDrive's icon in the taskbar, nor will you see the nice icons in your SkyDrive folder, because SkyDrive is running in the background, but your files will be synchronized. On Windows 7 2008, or Vista, or when connecting via RDP, you can choose Application, Start SkyDrive in this session, if you wish to show SkyDrive's tray icon. Now that SkyDrive will always be running 24-7 in the background, there is no need to start it again when you log on. We recommend using the free Auto Runs tool from Microsoft to disable SkyDrive's Auto Start, but any startup manager should do the trick. With Auto Runs, click over to the Log On tab and uncheck the box beside the SkyDrive entry. That's it! Next time your computer boots, SkyDrive will start up immediately before anyone logs on. We encourage you to edit the entry in Always Up and check out the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. This concludes our tutorial on how to run Microsoft SkyDrive 24-7 as a Windows service with Always Up.